What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Walk it like I talk it. Walk it. Walk it like I talk it. What's up, guys? My name's Jade, and welcome to my channel. Today, we're gonna mail out stuff because you guys bought some merch, and I'm gonna send it to you. Only problem is, I don't actually know how to mail, so we're gonna do that right now. You're coming with me, so I hope you guys enjoy. Bye, Mom! Hey, yo, guys. I hope you're doing well. I just thought I... Why won't my... Why won't my car start? Oh, shit. So, we're going to the mail place. Ah! I hope you guys are doing honestly super well. I have so much love for you guys and we're almost at 30,000 subscribers So thank you very much. I'm very very thankful for every single one of you So I just thought I update you guys on life if you're new to this channel I talk about social media growth, but I actually run a coaching business where I talk about marketing I thought I'd update you on like a business not just YouTube's because there's a lot going on okay, So first of all crazy things are happening I got approached by huge brands and marketing agencies to work with and I'll have a few meetings with them so I'll update you guys when it happens. Also guys, I'm working on my app but I'm having really bad problems with my ADD. It's just like really hard for me to focus on something when I feel like I have like a low confidence. It's really weird but that's okay because I booked a trip to California next week. I thought I'd remind you guys it's Friday the 13th right now uh, at this very moment and I thought I'd just give you guys some story times to hopefully inspire you. Did you know it's one in 300 million chances that you're a human? Did you know that? I have to enter this clip. 400 trillion to one. That's how rare it is to be a human being. I thought I'd let you guys know if you're ever read, just have perspective. And I know this is super rah rah, but I thought I'd let you know because positivity wins. We are at the P.O. box up in this bitch. And we're gonna talk about David Dobrik because I'm not a clickbait YouTuber, I'm a good little YouTuber. Okay guys, listen, I have this P.O. box set up for a month and I haven't been getting any mail. Today, I go up and ask, yo, where's my mail? And they're like, oops, there's nothing there. When I knew there's a few brands sending me stuff. So I'm back here, kind of confused. So I'm just thinking USPS is low-key a thief. Whatever, that's just life. So I'm gonna get a smoothie and then have the rest of the day to film more content. David Dobrik, because that's what we're talking about today. I have been obsessed with him out of just the curiosity to see who he was. I watched a one video and I was really confused. David Dobrik is a YouTube vlogger that basically makes videos about his life, but they're more like skits. Like, check this out. You know I like surprising my friends with different kinds of animals. I'm here with Brian and he has a baby bear. I really enjoy it. I watch his videos whenever I'm stressed out and I feel like you guys might like it too. And I thought I'd just crack down the success of David Dobrik for having six million subscribers. So I really believe in milking the content cow. If you're not aware, I talk a lot about creating content that's really repetitive and once something's rolling, you just repeat the process and you keep milking all the ideas you have for a certain topic. So David is kind of the king, milking everything possible in vlogging. Like, he doesn't change his style at all. All the editing's the same, his thumbnails are the same, titles are always in all caps and this really gives him branding that's really consistent and even he always posts at the same time he always posts regularly videos are always four minutes and 20 seconds long and there's a cop oh my god Act natural. Do you guys see it? So, to really sum it up, David Dobrik did blow up really quickly. He's so consistent. He's the definition of milking the cow. He posts a four minute and 20 second long video. To answer guys' question, I feel like David Dobrik is a genius. He is awesome. And I hope he comes back to YouTube because he's been taking a break lately. People always say, how much does a duration affect your video? Hey Jade, I'm trying to post a YouTube video. How long should I make it? Do the lengths of videos really matter? I'm trying to get more views. It doesn't matter about, you know, the duration. It's all about the watch time. So whether you post a 10 minute long video and there's only 20% of people watching all the way through, it might be better to post a shorter video. It's all about what fits your personality. If you feel like people to put so much pressure on creating over 10 minute videos, it's like you have to do everyday videos and no one's telling you to do anything, Sarah. No rules, it's all about watch time. So whether it fits your personality to do a one minute video, you don't know until you try. So my biggest recommendation for anyone doing YouTube is to try different durations and see which one really sticks. If you do really good in 11 minute long videos, keep doing it until you can't do it anymore. Just like David Dobrik. Okay guys, before we get smoothies, we're at Target because there's a problem. Basically, my eyelashes were ripped off after I had eyelash extensions, which I had a horrible experience because the lady literally took my eyeballs, like cheese grated my eyeballs off. So, we're gonna get some fake lashes to repair it. We got the lashes. You guys 
seriously don't understand Portland weather. Like I was running through the rain in sandals when a minute ago it was sunny. Walk it like I talk it. Walk it like I talk it. Hey, walk it like I talk it. Hey, walk it like I talk it. Walk it, walk it, walk it, walk it, walk it, walk it. Alright guys, we're back home. I got my smoothie. It has like a little bit of cashew, so like I think it's pretty smooth. Anyways, we're gonna recap this video to give you guys a really clear call to act. So listen guys, I think David Dobrik is the definition of consistent milking the cow content, being very, very diligent with his work. Now what I'm really gonna do right now, and you should follow along with me too, is taking a common variable throughout all your success and trying to create a formula out of it so you can repeat it. If you have a lot of Instagram posts or YouTube videos, and there's a certain amount of them that do more better than the others. I would really analyze those videos and really pick out the traits and personalities that make it so good. I'm literally gonna do this right now to my YouTube videos. I actually have four videos that are extremely doing really well right now. And what I'm gonna do is just pick away the variables that are doing well, write it down on a formula, and then I'm going to new little cheat sheet whenever I'm making a video so I know what you guys like and when I know what to do again. The thing is guys, you really can't do this technique with Instagram if you haven't posted a lot. I have a lot of you guys DMing me that you are really upset said about Instagram when you only have like 12 posts. You don't have enough data to kind of analyze what you have. You need at least 100, 200 videos or posts. Really just absorb what you have and you have to see which one sticks through. A lot of you guys are giving up too early and you just don't give it a chance. You need more persistence. You guys have to have a little more commitment to what you want to do and stop complaining if it's not working for three weeks, okay? This is a really long game and I will give yourself two years. Um, it took me a long time. I post videos here every day. So what I'm really gonna do is try to see the variables of videos that do really well and I'll do that in tomorrow's video if you want to see it, I'll link it below. What I want you guys to know is you have to do a lot to look at the data and analyze what you should do next. David knew what people wanted to see so he's very consistent every time he posted a video. It's all the same cuts, all the same edits, all the same music. even goes down to the certain font you use. So that's the type of analysis we're going to do tomorrow. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, comment below. What you want to see next, and I want to know your questions and comments and concerns. I'm really curious and I'm only creating content that you want to see. So just let me know if you ever have anything that you possibly would need. I'm here for you. So like this video and subscribe. Alright, catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.